What's good, y'all boys, man? I'm back with another reaction. This time I got Mr. Beast. I built 100 wells in Africa. Hey, man, let's just all give Mr. Beast a round of applause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ain't no other content creator, ain't no other billionaire, millionaire, whatever out there doing this that I know of. You know what I'm saying? A lot of billionaires be stingy with their money. That's why they billionaires. But nah, Mr. Beast really giving back. You know what I'm saying? Doing what's right. Let's get straight into this video, see what he's talking about, you know what I'm saying? Lock in, hit that like and sub button on the way to 2K subs, let's do it. This is the first of 100 wells we're going to build in this video. Oh, water! Jeez. Oh, oh, crap! You just witnessed a small village in Kenya get access to unlimited clean drinking water what? in less than a second. One down, 99 more wells in Africa to go. You're going to love this video. Combined, these 100 wells... He said unlimited clean drinking water. He is putting on, bro. Like... I'm inspired. Around half a million people fresh water to drink. And after building some more wells on this side of Kenya, we flew south to the school system of Nairiri. And let's just say they were really happy to see us. How's it going? Jeez. Not expecting this. We love you, Thank Mr. Beast. <laughs> Bro, what? Appreciate it, everybody. This village threw a welcome ceremony upon our arrival, and no one got really into it. Bro, this, like, I know I keep pausing, but this is, like, very, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they really doing stuff out here big, bro. He really is out here building wells, you know what I'm saying, for kids in need, people in need. Like, he's really doing what he should be doing, bro. Mr. Beast is, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Awkward person I've ever met. And that's a lot coming from me. And after being shown around the school. Yeah, I come, so I guess. And they showing them love. <laughs> it's nice meeting you. One of the teachers showed me where the students currently get their water, which is from this river. That's extremely unsafe to drink. Is this mm. where your students used to get water from? Yes. This is crazy. Yeah. Ah, students no. complaining of diarrhea, infections like typhoid. Because this is the water we've been using. So yeah. we try to treat, but you see, look at it. it you know, but at the end of the day, life has to move on. You have to get some water anyway. This situation is obviously extremely no. sad. These children's lives are being limited and sometimes cut short from being forced to drink unsafe water. But at least for this village, we're going to put an end to it right now. I don't think this John's going to fit. Bro, I'm just so proud of Mr. Beast right now, bro. I know we all are, bro. W Mr. Beast, man. Hey, man. <laughs> I want to be like you one day. Let's see if we can find some water. How does this work? It is raining. It's beautiful. After the water comes out of the ground, it's fed into enormous barrels like this one. And once they're built into the water towers, all of the neighboring villages will not only How have does that work? water, but a Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How does this work? Where are they drilling into? You know what I'm saying? Where are they going? I thought I thought the equator was in the middle of the ground. Not the ocean. I'm so lost. Somebody help me out. Somebody help me out. After the water comes out of the ground, it's fed into enormous barrels like this one. And once they're built into the water towers, all of the neighboring villages will not only have clean drinking water, but a pressurized water source as well. Which in short means no more doing laundry and unsafe water. Damn, Bro, that's Yo, lit. Nolan's mom, how heavy is it? Nolan's mom times two. Oh god. Dude, I'll push you off of this. Whoa, they calling Nolan's mom fat. <laughs> what? Why is she catching stray? Yo, Nolan, you gonna let that slide? Yo! <laughs> Alright, here we go, under control. We built 20 more wells in Kenya, and after we were done... Bro has another well in it. Don't worry, I have more water in my other shoe. <laughs> and just so you know how we built these first 29 wells... How does it work? This giant drill to dig hundreds of feet into the ground, past the polluted sources, and into an enormous aquifer of pure drinkable water. How? After that, we spent time installing pipes... Where does the water come from, bro? What? This is, like... It's still, like, W Mr. Beast, but, like... How did he... Why didn't I learn this in school? I'm learning more from a Mr. Beast video than I did at school. 
We use this giant drill to dig hundreds of feet into the ground, past the polluted sources and into an enormous aquifer of pure drinkable water. After Jeez. that, we spent time installing pipes so that people all around Africa can access water from spigots like this one in Nairiri. Let's see how it tastes. Like water. It took me about a minute to fill this five gallon drum. How much water can this provide a day? 3,600 gallons a day. Not only will this well cover the 400 kids at this school, but literally the entire neighborhood and village Bro, around this school. He's out here saving lives. That's what y'all don't understand. Like, you know what I'm saying? 100 wells. That sounds crazy already, but you gotta understand that these kids are just drinking from that, that water that was polluted, dirty. You know what I'm saying? had had uh all these all these things in it now he's actually making these kids healthy you know what i'm saying they can get the right water supply that they need they can take clean showers they can they can wash their clothes in clean water their stomach's not gonna hurt no more none of that you know what i'm saying he really putting on for this world man god bless so mr beast for <laughs> real uh, no problem. And they're so this appreciative. Basically... Like I just love how they're so appreciative. You know what I'm saying? Like they they understand that somebody's helping their helping them out, and they're so like you know what I'm saying appreciative. Pump nonstop for 30 years. You would think that having an effect of this magnitude would require the resources and funding of a large government, but that's not true. Solving this problem is possible, and something humanity should all be putting effort into fix. What's the secret of success? To be honest, just find something you love doing and do it for a long period, and eventually you'll succeed. Hey, 100, so I'm 100. Bring it super close. See us? Is that cool? Yes. If you look up, it's recording. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to get close. All right. <laughs> yeah, you can see yourself. We were also able to install a well for this village and this village Man. and 12 other villages. And while we were finishing these wells, we were also able to update one of their schools with brand new computers. What? They really like, they like them. Glad to see it turned out well. And we also updated the classrooms with new furniture, installed shelves and filled them with new books, donated Jeez. a soccer ball for every student. What? And even put modern whiteboards and projectors in all the classrooms. Yo! He did more than just build a hundred wells. He done changed the whole environment. Oh, what? <laughs> Yeah. I made a lot of dust, but today everything is clean. We truly appreciate it. No problem. It's the least we could do. But then when we flew out to the site of the 45th well, we realized this community had it even harder. Every time they need to get water, they need to take a treacherous mile-long hike through the jungle. And what? that mile-long hike also happens to be on a giant mountain. I wake up very early, about 4 o'clock, so that I can fetch water for the school. We are not safe fetching water here. That place is very slippery. Chances of getting what? an injury is very high. So while we worked on their well, the community took me to see how they currently source their water. You guys would have to make this trip how many times? They have to walk a mile and a half to get water. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie. Big props to them just for having, you know what I'm saying? They they make way, like, they don't have much and they make way. Like, I'm just, it's crazy. Like, we have it so easy. And, like, we just take stuff for granted, bro. Don't ever take stuff for granted, bro, for real. Because it's always somebody out there, you know what I'm saying? That has it harder than you. Two times. Two times a day. Oh wow. So a typical student would carry something like this? Yes. Oh god. If 200 students did this every day, how hard could it be? It could be very hard. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Dang, this is very steep. We're just walking down this mountain forever. <laughs> every day. It was actually surprising how difficult this hike was. And these people go... And then like you gotta go back carrying that full of water and I know that's that's heavy, bro. Have y'all ever carried a milk jug just from your car? Your mom say, I'm outside with the groceries. Come out and get it. You go get the milk jugs and walk back to the house. Or, or the case of water and walk back to the house. But you done tired. Your, your arms hurt. They carrying these these gallon, these five gallon, five gallon, uh. Talking to all these milk jugs. Now these five gallon uh jugs back. A mile and all a half. Of that just to get to the spigot. That's water is still unsafe to drink. This is where you guys get your water from normally? Yes. And filled with water, these jugs can weigh up to 40 pounds, which is insane 40 pounds? for children to be carrying up this mountain. The ladies can carry two of those. Oh, I totally can as well then. And as soon as these jugs were filled, it was time to head all the way back up. Hurry up, let's go. He's not even sweating or anything. I got it, I got it. <laughs> 
And now, instead of well, spending... He said 40 pounds. And look what they're... They're climbing over rocks. This is a hike with 40 pound jugs. Here's a day for unsafe water. <sighs> Their new well is only 10 feet away from the school. Sheesh. So, they can just fill it up here now. I'm too tired. And so we were on our way to the next village where we built our 46 well, but we ran into a little problem. We found out that this village is divided in half by this huge dangerous river. It may oh. not look like much now, but when the rainy season comes, the water comes up this high oh. and literally swallows this bridge. And why this bridge is such a big deal is the village is over there, the hospital and schools are over there, so they're crossing this bridge multiple times a day. Despite how dangerous this bridge is, it's their only option. Yeah, bro, that does look a little dangerous. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That do look dangerous. Can sweep away people, students, or even animals. In the recent past, we have lost about three people trying to cross this river. This loss of life is no. insane and absolutely unacceptable. The moment we heard about this, we knew we had to help. So while we started work on a new bridge that would let them reach their well, we then traveled over 2,000 miles w. from Kenya to the country of Zimbabwe. We've been in Africa for over a week, and we still have a lot more wells to do. Yeah. You kind of smell. I know, it's weird. I showered this morning. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I, if you let me finish, I can put my arms down. Can I count on that you? That boy forgot the deodorant at the crib. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Beast, bro. You, you got to gotta carry the deodorant with you, you know what I'm saying? Can't be forgetting the degree, the old spice, the dove. Whatever you use. Yes, 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 yes. First on the agenda was to check out a local hospital that was in dire need of clean water. Upon entering, we learned how big of an impact this clinic had on the village. How many kids do you guys give birth to a year here? In a month, about 50. Do 600 births a year? <laughs> wow. But unfortunately, That's actually the a lot, to be at honest. this clinic have to walk over a mile just to get water and then carry these heavy buckets all the way back. However, the Jeez. good news is we paid for the construction of a new modern well for them. All that needed to be done now was to turn it on. All right, Nolan, are you ready? I'm ready. Bro, I wonder how Mr. Beast feels like when he goes home. Like, does he feel like he changed the world? Nah, he can't. He probably just thinks like, I got to do more. Like he just has to do more over and over. I get it though. Over. Let well, me get I was a dramatic zoom. If I was Mr. B's dad or mom, bro, I'd be so proud, bro. Nolan, I pressed the button. Is it working? It's flowing! Oh. <laughs> do we want to go check it out? Come yes. Boys? Let's do it. I love how people are immediately just getting water right now. This is easily the coolest thing ever. Uh, Nolan here is a professional dancer. Yeah. He will join. <laughs> yeah. I'm dancing. What is he doing? <laughs> Oh gosh, I, I, I won't make you watch this anymore. Besides <laughs> access to clean water, Yo. a lot of the students at this village lack transportation. So we decided to give all of them new bicycles. <laughs> Bro, what? He even got them all bikes? Bro, how much, like, bro, like realistically, how much money do y'all think he put into this video, bro? He probably, you know, actually, he probably didn't even put that much in, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Cause you don't even you don't need to be super rich to do this. You can just you know what I'm saying. You just you just gotta have heart. I know it looks like a lot of kids, but we bought a lot of bikes. Full disclosure: I don't know how to ride a bike. Jimmy only knows how what? to ride away bikes. Never learned how to ride one. Let's break in all the new bikes. Oh, he capping. He capping. Two, one, go! Oh, everyone's passing me. Be careful! I don't know how to ride a bike. He no, really don't know how to ride a bike. You wanna ride it? <laughs> Alright, go for a little man. Okay. And after giving away the bikes, we continue building wells until bro, we reach the That's a W that's a W man's bro. He got everybody bikes. 69. This solar power One day. is special. One day y'all gonna catch me doing this. Trust me. Designed Trust me. to aid the farmers in this village by providing more than enough water for all of their crops and livestock, even during the dry season without any electricity. Each panel is 200 watts. Then it's attached to a pump. That pump can pump 5,000 liters every hour. Uh, basically, it's unlimited amount of water for this entire village. That's incredible. Jeez. And after we left Zimbabwe, we wanted to continue to give water to communities all across Africa. So we built more wells in Uganda, Somalia, and Cameroon. You want to see more of what we did in Cameroon, there's a whole video about Bro. that coming soon on the Philanthropy channel. Spending time in these villages really made me reflect on the importance of building wells, how it brings water to farms to feed the hungry, how it provides clean conditions for hospitals, and most importantly, how it helps the children of this next generation Look, live long. 
You see how happy he conditions is? Conditions for hospitals, and most importantly, how it helps to... You see how happy? You know what I'm saying? And we and we get all this every single day. I can go to the bathroom right now, you know what I'm saying? Leave the water running like everybody do, you know what I'm saying? Take an hour and a half shower. And this kid right here is smiling, happy, made his day. Unlimited water. Children of Man. this next generation live long, healthy lives and build the future for Look how all happy they are. We are with a new dawn of clean drinking water. Water is life. And with some help from the locals, we finally finished a new bridge that this community can use for the next 100 years. Lives have been saved. Families will come together. The worries will be gone. The 100 wells we built in this video will change a lot of lives but not enough. Which is why before you go, I wanna urge you all to go to beastphilanthropy.org slash wells or click the link in the description and donate money if possible. We're literally not profiting a dime off this video. 100% of the money we raise is gonna to go towards building more wells like you saw in this video all around the globe. I know it's weird that a YouTuber has to do all this stuff, but someone's gotta do it. And if no one else is, we're gonna do it. Hey, As you W tell, man, it really bro. does change w lives man, in the communities bro. where we build them. And finally, well 100. Yeah. Oh God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey man, shout out Mr. Beast, bro. He's the goat. You know what I'm saying? We need more people in the world like this. That's gonna do it, man. Like, comment, subscribe.